from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. This is Todd Goldfinger, and here are today's top headlines. Thank you for being with us. The officer who pulled Tyree Nichols from his car before police fatally beat him never explained why he was being stopped. Newly released documents show and emerging reports from Memphis res residents suggest that was common. The Memphis Police Department blasted Demetrius Haley and four other officers as blatantly unprofessional and asked that they be stripped of the ability to work as police for their role in the January 7th beating according to documents released Tuesday by the Tennessee Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission. They also include revelations that Haley took photographs of Nichols as he lay propped against the police car then sent the photos to other officers and a female acquaintance. Nichols died three days later. The police killing to prompt, the latest police killing to prompt nationwide protest and an intense public conversation about how police treat black residents. The five officers, Haley Desmond Mills Jr., Darius Bean, Justin Smith, and Emmett Martin III, have been fired and charged with second-degree murder. The new documents offer the most detailed account to date of those officers' actions. Their attorneys have not commented to the Associated Press about the documents. Next news. It was a stunning revelation. One of the officers involved in the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols took a cell phone photo of the bloodied and handcuffed man and shared it with five other people. The disclosure was part of the disclosure was part of the Memphis Police Department's request to the state that the five former officers charged with murder in Nichols' death be decertified. But the officer's statement about sharing the photo will never likely be seen by a jury. So-called Garrity statements or disclosures made by police officers during internal investigations under the threat of termination if they stay silent have been viewed by courts as compelled and therefore cannot be used in criminal court. Six officers already have been fired and one more has been relieved of duty after Nichols was pulled over for an alleged traffic violation and beaten by police. Six others could re receive administrative discipline, officials disclosed, without providing any details. Prosecutors say the January 7th arrest, which was captured on police video cameras, led to Nichols' death three days later. Here's a look at Garrity's statements and other aspects of internal police investigations into misconduct the, police, the public rarely sees. When a police officer is accused of misconduct, internal police investigators who are trying to figure out what happened often take statements from the accused officers or witnesses. Officers, like everyone, have a Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination and can't be forced to fess up to potential misconduct just to have those statements later used against them in a criminal case. Next news. Evacuated residents can return to the Ohio village where crews burned toxic chemicals after a train derailed five days ago near the Pennsylvania state line now that monitors show no dangerous levels in the air, authorities said Wednesday. Around the clock testing inside and outside the evacuation zone around the village of East Palestine and Silver of, and a, silver, a sliver of Pennsylvania showed the air had returned to normal levels that would have been seen before the derailment, said James Justice of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Hundreds and hundreds of data points we've collected over time show the air quality is safe, and quotes, he said. 
residents were ordered to evacuate when authorities decided on Monday to release and burn five tankers filled with vinyl chloride, sending hydrogen chloride and the toxic gas phosgene into the air. Monitors did detect toxins in the air during the controlled burn at the derailment site, but other samples outside that area did not, Justice said. The village's mayor expressed relief that the evacuation had been lifted. In quotes, We know everybody's frustrated. Everybody wants to be in their homes. We did the best we can, said Mayor Trent Conaway. The number one goal is public safety, and we accomplished that. Nobody was injured. Nobody died. He credited the village's part-time firefighters and their quick response to the derailment for saving the town. Some residents have said they were worried about returning, even if authorities said it's okay to go home, despite reassurances from officials. It's unlikely, though, Justice said, that there would be any dangerous levels of toxins inside any homes or businesses based on readings from air monitors around the community. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said, some residents may want to wait until their homes are checked. Rail operator Norfolk Southern Railway, Railway said it would provide testing and continue to operate its family assistance center for the foreseeable future. Next news. The fiery derailment of a toxic, <clears throat> of a train carrying toxic chemicals, sending a huge plume of smoke in the air and forcing residents of a small Ohio town to evacuate has highlighted the potentially disastrous consequences of train accidents and raised questions about railroad safety. The railroad industry is generally regarded as the safest option for most goods and federal data show accidents involving ha hazardous materials are exceedingly rare. But with rails crossing through the heart of nearly every city and town nationwide, even one has hazardous materials accident could be disastrous, especially in a populated area. Rail unions believe the industry has gotten riskier in recent years after widespread job cuts left workers spread thin. It raises all kinds of questions, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine told Fox and Friends this week when he was asked whether hazardous materials are too dangerous to transport by rail. We've seen it up close and personal the last few days, DeWine said. This is a big, big deal. About half of the 4,800 residents in the eastern Ohio town of East Palestine and those in surrounding areas including parts of Pennsylvania, had to evacuate as officials monitored air and water quality following a controlled burn of chemicals released from damaged tank cars. The evacuation order was lifted Wednesday after the air was deemed safe. We're going to take a short break from the Daily Global English News of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung, and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today, and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nera. Top of the morning with host of Dual Ali. The Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet. And the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung, and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today, and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nera. Top of the morning with host of Dual Ali. 
the Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet and the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. This world continuously revolving around various events every minute, every second, something is happening somewhere around the globe. And you want to get connected to that event or to that specific moment. Here we come, Millennium News Hour, to get you connected with top USA and international trending news, which includes local news, political news, world news, business news, health and science related news, entertainment news, sports news and so on. Millennium News 24 is transmitted and available to be watched free for all at TV such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV and Apple TV and also in all European countries and Australia available with Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IP TV, Worldwide Jago BT Network and Horizon Satellite globally. Stay connected with Millennium News Hour to get the world news on your fist. This world continuously revolving around various events every minute, every second, something is happening somewhere around the globe. And you want to get connected to that event or to that specific moment. Here we come, Millennium News Hour, to get you connected with top USA and international trending news, which includes local news, political news, world news, business news, health and science related news, entertainment news, sports news and so on. Millennium News 24 is transmitted and available to be watched free for all at TV such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV and Apple TV and also in all European countries and Australia available with Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IP TV, Worldwide Jago BT Network and Horizon Satellite globally. Stay connected with Millennium News Hour to get the world news on your fist. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nira. Top of the morning with host Adul Ali. The Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet. And the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nira. Top of the morning with host Adul Ali. The Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet. And the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know.
This world continuously revolving around various events. Every minute, every second, something is happening somewhere around the globe. And you want to get connected to that event or to that specific moment. Here we come, Millennium News Hour. To get you connected with top USA and international trending news, which includes local news, political news, world news, business news, health and science related news, entertainment news, sports news and so on. Millennium News 24 is transmitted and available to be watched free for all at TV such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV and Apple TV and also in all European countries and Australia available with Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IPTV, Worldwide Jago BD Network and Horizon Satellite globally. Stay connected with Millennium News Hour to get the world news on your fist. This world continuously revolving around various events. Every minute, every second, something is happening somewhere around the globe. And you want to get connected to that event or to that specific moment. Here we come, Millennium News Hour. To get you connected with top USA and international trending news, which includes local news, political news, world news, business news, health and science related news, entertainment news, sports news and so on. Millennium News 24 is transmitted and available to be watched free for all at TV such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV and Apple TV and also in all European countries and Australia available with Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IPTV, Worldwide Jago BD Network and Horizon Satellite globally. Stay connected with Millennium News Hour to get the world news on your fist. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nir. Top of the morning with host of Dual Ali. The Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet. And the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 News on Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Horizon Satellite, Samsung and LG Smart TVs. Don't miss today's America, Editorial Today and Global Democracy with host of Fader Nira. Top of the morning with host Adul Ali. The Tri-State News Update with host Anthony Manzanet. And the Millennium News Hour with host Tanziba Noreen. Millennium TV 24 News, news you need to know. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Global News Update. Here's a continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. A man suspected of injuring two Maryland police officers with gunfire has been taken into custody early Friday after fleeing from the vehicle he had stolen from a detective he shot, authorities said. Federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies surrounded the suspect in a wooded area near a shopping mall in Falston after police used spike strips to disable the stolen vehicle, Harford County Sheriff Jeffrey Goller said. 
and he was taken into custody at about 5.45 a.m. Our community is safer with this individual in custody where he belongs, Goller said, at a Friday morning news conference. The suspect, earlier identified as David Linthicum, 24, wasn't injured during the arrests, and charges were pending, Goller said. He was expected to be transferred to the custody of Baltimore County Police. Authorities believe the suspect had fled with a rifle, so they were searching the area for a weapon, Goller said. When the arrest was made, Goller said the suspect had ammunition with him. Goller earlier said that police found a rifle and a handgun in the recovered vehicle after the suspect fled, but later said only a rifle was left in the vehicle. An officer was shot Thursday night during the search for Linthicum, who authorities said wounded a different officer while firing at police the previous afternoon. Next news. A reporter was pushed to the ground, handcuffed and arrested for trespassing while covering a news conference about the derailment of a train carrying toxic chemicals in Ohio. News Nation posted video of correspondent Evan Lambert being arrested Wednesday in the gymnasium of an elementary school in East Palestine where Governor Mike DeWine was giving an update about the accident. Lambert was held for about five hours before being released from jail, News Nation reported. I'm doing fine right now. It's been an extremely long day, Lambert said, after his release. No journalist expects to be arrested when you're doing your job, and I think that's really important, but that doesn't happen in our country. End quotes. At the end of his news conference, DeWine said he didn't authorize the arrest, and reporters have every right to report during briefings. If someone was stopped from doing that or told they could not do that, that was wrong. DeWine said. A following statement from the governor's office said DeWine didn't see the incident because of a bank of cameras blocking his view, but he did hear a disagreement toward the back of the gymnasium. DeWine has always respected the media's right to report live before, during, and after his pref press briefings, the statement said. Next news. <clears throat> the Kansas City Chiefs are the reason Rhonda Livaldo is in Arizona for the Super Bowl, but she won't be here to watch the game. Livaldo and other Native Americans will be pushing again for the Chiefs to abandon the team's name, mascot, and fan-driven Tomahawk Chop. It's the same goal they had in 2021 when the Chiefs were vying for a second consecutive Super Bowl win in Tampa, Florida. People are really trying to be really positive about Kansas City and what it does and how it likes. Yes, sports binds us all together. Livaldo, founder of the Kansas City-based indigenous activist group, not in our honor, said at a news conference Thursday. In quotes, it's not bringing our people into this celebration together. Really, it's hurting us more because now it's the bigger spotlight where you're seeing this all over the world. End quotes. Livaldo will be joined by others from Kansas City and tribes in Arizona to demonstrate outside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. The president of the Kansas City franchise says he respects their right to protest. Fights against the appropriation of tribal cultures and images have endured for decades, not just with the chiefs. Native Americans say using iconography and words with native connotations demeans them and perpetuates racist stereotypes. Next news. Hours after being told she could go home for the first time since a train hauling chemicals derailed and, sent, and later sent up a toxic plume near the Pennsylvania state line, Melissa Henry nervously walked inside her house. 
First, she washed her sheets and pillowcases, then started throwing out everything left on her kitchen counters. She opened all of her windows, too, hoping to air out whatever might have seeped inside while fearful of the air outside, too. In quotes, was that the right thing to do or not? You just don't know, she said Thursday. It was a nightmare. It still is. End quotes. Residents forced to evacuate the Ohio village of East Palestine began trickling home after being told Wednesday that hundreds of air samples showed no dangerous levels of toxins following the controlled release and burn of five tankers that were among nearly 50 cars that derailed last Friday. Some, including Henry, came back within the first few hours, while others were waiting to see the results of air sampling inside their homes before returning. I was a nervous freaking wreck last night, she said. My kids are here. That's the biggest concern. Henry and her two boys had stayed with her parents for nearly five days while waiting for the derailment to be cleaned up. She left on Saturday before the mandatory evacuations were ordered because her youngest son's eyes turned red as tomatoes as he was coughing a lot, she said. We're going to take a short break from the Daily Global English News of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you. This world continuously revolving around various events. Every minute, every second, something is happening somewhere around the globe. And you want to get connected to that event or to that specific moment. Here we come, Millennium News Hour, to get you connected with top USA and international trending news, which includes local news, political news, world news, business news, health and science related news, entertainment news, sports news and so on. Millennium News 24 is transmitted and available to be watched free for all at TV such as Sony, Samsung, LG, Roku TV, Amazon TV and Apple TV and also in all European countries and Australia available with Sky Network, Worldwide Jago TV, Radiant IP TV, Worldwide Jago BT Network and Horizon Satellite globally. Stay connected with Millennium News Hour to get the world news on your fist. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Global News Update. Here's the continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. Christian Siriano lined his New York Fashion Week runway Thursday with thousands of multicolored flowers and put wide-brimmed hats worthy of Muse Audrey Hepburn on some of his models to top off a big week. First, there was a custom burgundy power suit he made Vice President Kamala Harris for Tuesday's State of the Union. He nailed it one trip to Washington, D.C., in one fitting, in quotes. And we had the Grammys and Fashion Week, Siriana told the Associated Press in a backstage interview. We had no time, it, and I was like, well, we hope it works. It's just such an honor. We wanted to make her look really beautiful and powerful, in quotes. Then there was his update of Alicia Silverstone's, Silverstone's iconic clueless yellow plaid skirt for her Rakuten Super Bowl commercial airing Sunday. <clears throat> he even scored a cameo as a student in Cher Horowitz's debate class. Siriano and Silverstone are longtime pals and she sits often on his front rows. She was away filming this time around. Lindsay Lohan with Brother Dakota and one of her sisters walking in the show attended with Quinta Brunson and Julia Stiles. In quotes, <clears throat> growing up literally any young fashion designer is obsessed with Clueless. I mean, Cher is your muse. It felt really full circle, he said of his Super Bowl moment. Next news. Super Bowl ads are more than just breaks between gameplay during the biggest sporting event of the year. They offer a glimpse of the country's zeitgeist, along with how major industries are faring. 
This year, crypto ads and automakers are advertising less since those industries, industries are facing problems. Major food brands like M&Ms, tech companies like Google, streaming services including Peacock, and more alcohol brands are, have jumped in to take their place. When Super Bowl LV11 kicks off Saturday, Sunday night with Kansas City Chiefs taking on Philadelphia Eagles in Glendale, Arizona, big marketers will be battling out during the Fox broadcast as well. Their prize? The chance to capture the attention of more than 100 million viewers expected to tune in for the big game. This price of entry is steep. Some advertisers are paying more than $7 million for a 30-second spot, and that doesn't include the cost of making the ad itself. This year, viewers can expect stars galore, light humor, and catchy songs. For the most part, advertisers are steering away from somber messages or outrageous humor that might have worked to capture attention in decades past, but not now. When the country is still emerging from the pandemic, Facing economic uncertainty, and the war continues in Ukraine. Next news. Patrick Mahomes dominated the voting for the AP NFL Most Valuable Player Award. Now, now he'll try to break the MVT, MVP curse. Mahomes, who also won in 2018, easily outdistanced Jalen Hurts, receiving 48 of 50 first place votes from a nationwide panel of media members who regularly cover the league. He earned 490 points to 193 for Hertz, who got one first place vote, 26 seconds, 11 thirds, and 10 fourths. Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs 16 to 3 face Hertz and the Philadelphia Eagles. 16 to 3 in the Super Bowl on Sunday. Mahomes thanked the Chiefs organization and his teammates in a video at NH NFL Honors on Thursday night. <clears throat> I would never be standing here without y'all, Mahomes said. Every day we've given everything we have together to win the ultimate goal, the Super Bowl. Let's continue to go for that dream this weekend. End quotes. The last nine MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that season are 0-9. Kurt Warner was the last to win both the MVP award and Super Bowl following the 1999 season. Bills quarterback Josh Allen received the other first place vote, finishing third with 151 points. Bengals cuboy, uh, quarterback Joe Burrow Placed fourth in Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson came in fifth. Next news. A black former professional rugby player from South Africa shot by police months after moving to Hawaii suffered from a degenerative brain disease often found in American football players and other athletes subjected to repeated head trauma. Autopsy results show. The finding could help explain Lindan, Lindani Miani's bizarre behavior beha before the deadly 2021 confrontation with Honolulu officers. It also offers another layer of detail about a shooting that gained international attention during heightened calls for police reform following the 2020 murder of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer. An addendum to Miami's autopsy report obtained by the Associated Press shows his brain tissue was sent, sent to the Boston University CTE Center, which found the 29-year-old father of two suffered from stage 3 chronic traumatic encephalopathy, commonly known as CTE. The disease... Uh, can only be diagnosed posthumously. Stage 4 is the most severe level, and experts say it's alarming for someone as young as me, Maini, to have such a critical case of CTE. 
Lindsay Maini, who filed a wrongful death lawsuit alleging police shot her husband because he was black, said she was shocked to, to learn of the CTE diagnosis. This has been the Daily Global English News update of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please log in to get the latest news on all of our social networking sites. That means Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. On TikTok, we are Millennium News 24. Also, our YouTube channel is News Channel M24. Viewers, now both on network broadcasting, Android and iOS devices, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, also all smart TV platforms. Please enjoy our entertainment, our latest news, views, and editorials, our Millennium TV apps, Millennium TV USA, Android, Millennium News Google, www. MillenniumTV24.com. Please stay with Millennium News 24. Thank you and God bless you wherever you are. Peace.